Hey guys, Andy here. Now, if you follow tech in any real way, or you're kind of a Google fan or a Pixel fan, you probably know about Google's Night Sight mode um, announced at their recent Pixel event, well, made by Google event, sorry. Um, and it did look very impressive. Certainly something I was thinking, oh, I definitely want that on a camera that I have. Uh, so I was quite interested when I saw that somebody had basically managed to port it to any Pixel device. You can just install the APK on any Pixel device that you might have. It is a separate package name, so it won't upgrade your current camera. You basically install it alongside your current camera. Um, well, I mean, you can ignore your current camera when you've got it installed if you like. And it's quite simple, really. If it's particularly dark, it'll even give you a little message saying you might want to try Night Sight at this point. Um, you go into Modes, you switch over to Night Sight, and what effectively it is doing is giving you a really long shutter speed. Now, the problem that you normally get with a really long shutter speed is kind of motion blur. Any, any little movement means you're going to get a blurred photo. And if the shutter's taken two or three seconds, it's quite likely that's going to happen. But what Google are doing is using whatever, electronic trickery and gadgetry and image stabilization and whatever else to give you still a pretty crisp, clear image, in theory. Um, so I thought I'd check it out. Now, my subject matter isn't the most exciting because literally I saw it when I got home from work, so I installed it, I waited for it to get dark, and I just had a quick wander around outside taking pictures of things. So I've not got anything too exciting. I've not gone into central London and taken pictures at Piccadilly Circus, which maybe I could have, but I've got other things to do, quite frankly. Um, so, but hopefully these photos will show you enough what it's capable of doing. Uh, so let's take a look. We're starting off with a fairly regular shot um, just out the back. The light from the window is kind of illuminating the bushes enough that without a flash I can take a picture and it looks okay actually. If we go over onto night side though, it is a lot brighter. Now this is the only one that I'm thinking, I'm not sure it's that much of a better shot. You see there's some blurring in the bush on the left hand side there. I think maybe the wind was blowing through the, and, uh, the bush and just moving the leaves and it caused some issues with the photo. I mean clearly it's a brighter shot. Um, there is a bit more noise, but it's not as different. Whereas if we move on to this particular shot, I mean, that's useless, isn't it? Without the flash, I mean, to be honest, even with the flash in that photo, it's not going to really do much at all. It might illuminate part of the ground just in front of the uh, the camera, but not much else. Then you go over to night sight. Now, there is a lot of noise in that photo. Don't get me wrong, no one's going to be saying that that's, wow, that's an amazing photo, but at least you can see what's going on in that photo. It is a very big difference. And I think that photo possibly shows kind of the power of night sight. Um, move on to the next one. Again, it's not it's not too bad an original picture without the flash. You can kind of see what's going on, but not particularly. Then we go over to night sight, and again, it's just it's just so much clearer. It is once more. It's not a great photo. There's loads of noise. But I'm telling you, when I was stood there, it was pitch black. I mean, I couldn't see all that much myself. So the fact that the the camera lens can get that much detail is quite stunning. Um, really quite impressive. Now, I'm not using a tripod or anything like that. I'm literally just standing there trying to hold it as steady as I can. I'm not sure how steady you really have to be. I did think afterwards, oh, maybe I should have tried one where I moved it around a little bit, just as a test. But... Uh, then we move around to the front of the flat screen. This is this is reasonably well lit, and it's not actually a bad picture from the Pixel 2 XL uh, because there are there's a few street lights, there's lights on the buildings, so you can pretty much see what's going on. The night sight, it is a lighter shot. You would argue it's a clearer shot. Again, there's noise, which I think is to be expected. Interestingly, someone was walking out of the flats as I started the the exposure. And they look a bit of a ghost on the right hand side if you see them there so it's kind of struggled a little bit with that movement but it didn't really you know didn't, i wouldn't say it spoils the picture anyway um i think possibly the best one so we're looking at just the bins here not all that exciting but that's quite a yellow shot um not a particularly good photo but you move on to the the night sight one that could almost be taken at day or day daytime um during the day <laughs> I mean, with with a bad camera, I suppose, because again, there's the noise and it's um, the colours aren't fantastic. But given the sort of uh, the situation that the lens and the camera were in, the conditions, uh, personally, I think that's a great picture. So the previous one without night sight was, like I say, quite sort of yellowy and I mean, generally quite horrible. That's a reasonable photo. I think that really is a reasonable photo, and it really is quite impressive what the uh, night sight on the Pixel can do. So I think you'll agree, those are some pretty impressive results. 
it's not magical they're not amazing photos the photos in their own rights if you look to them not knowing anything else you kind of say a bit grainy but given the conditions that they're taking in i can't stress how dark it was out there with no flash some of those pictures with no lighting at all really impressive just really impressive i mean head and shoulders well the, the photos without night sight were useless basically so really quite impressive um, i'm looking forward just to see i've got a huawei mate 20 pro on its way in a couple of days time that's got its own night mode on which i'll be quite i think works the same way basically it takes a four second exposure so i'll be really interested to see how they compare i'll probably do a video please do subscribe if you haven't already it would uh, help me a lot um but yeah i, I just think that's that's quite an impressive mode by google and actually quite a big selling point if obviously some bright spark makes it installable on any device then in some ways they lose the selling point i suppose which is the problem with just the software selling point but anyway uh, do let me know your thoughts in the comments down below for now my name's andy and i'll catch you all again soon Well done and thank you for making it to the end of the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, you might want to click the little fellow that should hopefully appear about here to subscribe. Um, you may also want to check out some of my other videos which are going to appear somewhere there. Um, also come have a look at my website, androidandy.uk. Um, there is also a forum. Come and say hello on the forum if you've got any questions about things or request me to review things or anything else. Just come and have a chat on the forum.